Truth, Conscience, Eric Ballinger, they are joining us all the way from the United States. Yep. How are you doing, brothers? Dan Dan, do we, do we have Eric? Some answer Dan Conscience in the building tonight. Ah, you want to speak some Patois now? Some answer Dan Conscience in the building tonight. King Sean, let me tell I, you. I, 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 brother. Ogambachi Conscience, all you, all you, all you, Ah, Can you hear us? Can you? Oh, amazing. How you doing? Good, I'm good. We're enjoying the How hair color. What was the inspiration? Come again? We're enjoying the hair color. What was the inspiration? <laughs> Back to them days. Remind us of uh, 2010. I think that's the last time you had that hair. Yeah. Yeah. I can hardly hear you guys. Oh, Eric is on the line. Eric, Eric is here too. All right, oh, we, we wanna we wanna add him to to the Zoom link. Do we have Eric done? Mr. Bellinger. Hey, hey, yo, 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 yo. Ah, nice. <laughs> the incredible there man of God. <laughs> <laughs> Respect hey, has to be given. <laughs> hey, Eric, Eric, welcome to the show, mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Yeah, my, name, my, 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 my name is Dougie Nice. Pleasure. Pleasure. Uh, Cautions, how you doing, my guy? I'm good, I'm good, my bro. Yeah, Cautions. Big up all the people of Uganda, you know the vibes. Yeah, definitely. Cautions, I was here telling these guys that uh, I am one of the people that directed your video with Palazzo. If you remember when we brought you, when yeah, we brought you to yeah, studio. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember when we brought you in TV studio? Money. And uh, you, you, you spoke to me and said you wanted a set that looked like you were reading the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big vibe. Tell them. Yes. Tell yes. Sammy. Sammy. Yeah, Sammy yeah, can't yeah, believe yeah, yeah. it. I, I do Conscience, believe. tell I him. Be, I just like messing up with my brother. <laughs> Conscience, I'm an Eric. Tell me something. Why am I not seeing you guys on the screen, though? Uh, so basically, we, were, we are in Studio A. Now, there is like... Four studios. This is NTV, so we have like, like four different studios, yeah. and so we, we are in the coolest gotcha. one. We're in the coolest one. <laughs> but listen, coaches, right? And Eric, can you teach Eric some Luganda? Because Eric hasn't been here before. You want me to teach Eric some Luganda? Yes. yes you've been. You you like your family, bro. Hey, but he's talking live to Uganda. You gotta teach him yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Mugamba, Colasente. Mugamba, Colasente, where you got it? Just let me hear yeah, you. Yo, fantastic. Um, Eric, I just wanna know um, when and for how long have you guys been friends with Conscience? We've been, we've been knowing each other for a few years now. Uh, and. Um, this is our first time actually working, so you know a lot of times you locked in with somebody and you just cool, and um, you know that was our genuine, organic relationship. And, and it was like, hey, I think it's time right now. And it was dope you because know, we had already bonded and we locked in. I mean, um, what I'd like to know, especially from you, having grown up in Compton, which is a hood and is known for rappers. You get to link up with a man born and bred, obviously, in Kingston, Jamaica, who represents dance hall. How was it like for you just linking up from R&B to dance hall and saying, you know what, I get to work with my brother, you know, conscience on this one? Thank you. I think two people was talking. Can you hear me now? Yes. All right. You want to do the question again? All right. Uh, so, uh, Eric, I want to know, uh, you're known for R&B, obviously, having worked with Chris Brown, with Asher. This time around, you cross borders, and you get to do with somebody that is known for dance or conscience. What was the thinking about this particular, you know, project? Yeah. I mean, for this one, I was just more so a fan of conscious, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Of course, I know my, my guy he does, he does the dance hall, reggae, you know, R&B. Now I, I realize that he can, he's versatile, but it was like, man, the connection was so obvious and strong, you know what I mean? With us, you know, recently teaming up together. And, you know, I think it's a, it's a vibe about keeping things in the family as well. You know, that plays a big part. I think the fact that my dog is a living legend, <laughs> <laughs> that was a, that was a <laughs> bonus. Me, that was a bonus. 
<laughs> that was the yeah. cherry on the top, you know what I mean? But we just been locked in so much, especially more recently. And with this being my first song, uh, transitioning into that world, you know, it was it was a it was a, it was an honor. Ooh, amazing conscience. So many people are yeah. trying to understand how you have been able to maintain your particular game for I don't even know how many years now without changing, without flickering, the fans just keep on growing over and over. Do you tell us how you're actually able to do this? I think doing things like this project, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think the universe always puts me in a position to be in, in touch with great people and great artists and iconic artists. Like Eric Bellinger is an artist that wrote a lot of the songs that, that I grew up on and back to, you know what I mean? A lot of our favorite R&B songs from our favorite artists, himself included. So I think the universe always puts me in line to do to do great collaborations and great work. And I'm always open to it, you know what I mean? Like the energy is always right. And I think that's what feeds me and drives my career for so many years. All right. Uh, Conscience, I have, I have a surprise for you. Azawi. Hey. Oh. Ah. Conscience, um, Azawi in the building. Azawi is in the building. Uh, to give her a call, yeah? <laughs> so, I mean, Azawi. Conscience, <laughs> you've, you've had the pleasure of okay. working with so many artists, um, obviously from Jamaica to the US, to the UK, to Nigeria, and in East Africa, we own you. Kenyans say you're their own, Ugandans say you are our <laughs> own. You know, I want to know what is your relationship yeah. like with Mama Africa and why is it so important for, you know, always tracing your roots back here in Africa? It's, it's always love. I think Africa, you know, coming from Jamaica and being black in this side of the world, like Africa has always been a dream. And to go there and the first time being there receives so much love from 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 the people is it's something that left like it, it's kind of heavy on my heart like i love it you know what i mean it's just like he, he went to south africa and vibed out and he was so tapped into the african culture that he was like yo this is something else and now he got a whole album you know what i mean and just off organic singles like like not even just once he, when he listened to the album it's not about trying to sound like anything else it just natural energy and i think that's the main thing that africa is natural energy for us especially as black people yeah. for me east africa has, has, show, has shown me so much love more than any other part of africa and i just have that same love to show back that's all it is that's amazing yeah. eric have you been able to pay attention to any artists let me just put it in general from uganda or east africa or africa that you feel like at some point in time you have to and or want to work with Oh, yeah, definitely. I feel like um, <laughs> the first time, I'm not sure if it's direct east, south, north, but I mean, like a lot of the African artists that have um, influenced me, like, man, you got to, like Omale, I, lo I love like like his new sound, his new music, everything everything that he's, he's doing. I like how he's, you know, being real innovative with the sound. And really a lot of the stuff, I think when I listen to um, the older, you know, Afro beats and I'm a piano songs. It was more, it had a lot of R&B sounds in it. And I think that's what made me still feel like, man, hold on, this is something I could do. You know, this is in the same world, this is in the same realm. But in order to get that production, I think, you know, especially I had to go over there, like working with people like Phantom, working with people like um, Baker, like Luke Goliath, you know, I think they really, you know, I'm a fan of them too. I think you gotta you gotta look at the production and the producers um, behind a lot of the music too. Fantastic. Hey, Koshans. Yes, sir. Guess who I have online right about now? The one and only Azawi. Bye. Azawi, we have Koshans live in studio. You wanna say hello and surprise him? Of course, why not? Please do. Dance Bell King. Hey, Koshans, what's up? Azawi, what? Well, nice to hear out. from you again. Yeah, man, meet Eric Bellinger. Eric, what's up? What's yeah. on the line? Hey, I was just listening to y'all's song yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Summer Bear. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bye, bye, bye. Azawi, how good was it for you to connect with Cautions and come up with such a beautiful project? It was, it was smooth. Like, he's a, he's a very great man. 
uh, very calm, very um, hospitable and welcoming. So, you know, we had these conversations via um, social media until when we met in person. And of course, he was so um, receptive. Uh, he put in a lot of work. He was involved in the project, wow. from the promotions. He wanted to always know, you know, mm. to keep in the loop of what was happening nice. all around with the project. And I'm forever grateful for his um, uh, support and effort to make sure we make such a record. Yeah. Fantastic. Co Caution's flowers from Azawi to you. Uh, yeah. you, you want blessing, blessing every time. Blessing. You, you, do you share the same sentiments as Azawi does? Oh, uh, yeah, man. Remember, I'm the one that's not from Uganda. <laughs> I definitely felt at home in her, um, in her team. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like a Uganda. Uh, yeah. so definitely big love. A great talent. I've seen all the shows even before yeah. doing the song. And, and it's just always a good energy with Azawi. So bless up Azawi and the whole team. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, um, Azawi, thank you for joining us. Conscience, there's I'm something sure. that. Uh, Laughing you know, but love. Azawi has yeah, highlighted, yeah. which speaks volumes about your personality and your character as an artist, is the fact that, you know, there are so many artists, after doing a collaboration, they pretty much leave that particular work when it comes to marketing and promotion to the other artists. But she is saying that, you know what, Conscious owned this song, marketed this song, and it's not just with Azawi, you've done the same with Palasso, you did the same for Fik Gaza and Chameleon. In Kenya, you've done the same mm. for KRG Dawn, I just want to know, um, and the same thing you're doing, obviously, with Eric. Uh, why is it so important that when you come together and collaborate on a track, to equally put in your effort and your energy to push the song? That's the well, first of I mean, I don't, I don't get on music that I don't love. And first of all, we got to talk about Eric a little different because for me, be, being on a, I think being on a song with the artists you mentioned is... I wouldn't get on the songs if I don't love the songs, right? But then I also see it as opportunities for the artists as well. And I think for Eric, I see it more as an opportunity for me. You know what I mean? Like it, it's a good energy, not just for, for tapping into R&B, but for learning from the way he records and, and, and his approach to music. You know what I mean? So definitely I, I won't be doing a song if, I'm not, if I don't love it. So I'll definitely promote it 24-7. I, th I think somebody's stalking into the into the feed. Yeah, I think he don't know it either. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> ah, oh, sorry about that, Eric. I want to ask you. Uh, you are such a celebrated songwriter, mate. And I want to ask you if, if you want to say something to the writers that we have back here at yeah. home, especially in Uganda. What could we do to elevate our writing to see that our writing? can actually be both beyond borders. And Together, people, Grammy. Pe people can celebrate our music through their ears, but also make it global and commercial the way you do. I mean, look at yourself. Yeah. Your pen game is working with Chris Brown. Your pen game is working Thank with you. Carl Shenz. Come on. Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor, what can we do to the writers that are watching right now? <laughs> How do you pick Man, your direction? I think, that, I think that melody, you know, that melody is, is the strongest thing when it comes to, to, to music. And um, as long as you can have something catchy, you know, I think a lot of times people try to overthink it when it comes to writing a song. So I think the simplicity meets potency, you know, a, a, a lullaby that has substance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to make sure that you can always remember the melody and never forget what I'm saying. So I think for for you know, for starters, when it comes to thinking about the song concept, for one, it has to be something so relatable that we could say it every day without even thinking about it. And then the other component is really to be original and and try to phone try to find your most, you know, unique part of your gift and, you know, do that because time oftentimes people try to sound like other people, but the most superpower we have is is to be our individual selves. So you got to find out what makes you special when it comes to a songwriter and emphasize that, you know, as much as possible. So, you know, I know I said a lot of things, but the originality, the the catchiness, that's my favorite word, catchy, 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 and some 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 related relatability, you know.
catchy. I want to add to that. a little bit right. about conscience. Oh, conscience. We're still speaking. Conscience. Oh, hold up. I, I, I want to add to that because you know I Go ran ahead. for East Africa big time, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel like the only the, the only thing that's stopping East African artists from crossing is the people getting behind their artists. You yeah. know, what I mean, not just the people in in Uganda or in Kenya, but in London, the Kenyan community and the Ugandan community, in Florida, in, in you know what I mean, in South America, in Europe, y'all gotta get behind your people and ride with and ride with the East African artists, just the same as you ride with the dancehall or you ride with the, 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 the Nigerian. And that's the only thing, the support system is, is, is all they need. Because I hear the music, I think a few songs could not be in Swahili, some more English or so, you know what I mean, mix it up a little bit more, but all it is is DJs and fan base just getting behind the artists and, and helping push them. Out of sense. Eric, tell us yes. about it will all make sense later. <laughs> what yes. will make sense later? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, I think um, you know, a lot of times people only move knowing, you know, what's going to happen. You know, as opposed to in faith, you know, and I think this this album for me, um, it's just about faith. You know what I mean? Like I'm taking a, 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 a chance. I'm taking a risk. I'm taking, you know, a different route than what, what I normally would do, you know, and for me to be you know, known as a traditional R&B singer. I knew that some people would be like, what's he doing or why is he doing that or what's this sound? But I feel like if you just believe you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of what I'm taking on it. Like, it's, it's just a faith walk. Like, I believe that, you know, what God has for me, you know, is greater later. You know what I mean? So it's like just taking a chance and 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 and, and, and knowing that, you know, when people see what this is, they'll understand it. Thank you so much, um, Eric and Conscience. Now, um, as we say bye-bye to the both of you, we have a brand new song to release. And uh, obviously, we're going to receive it uh, with open arms, obviously, as Africans. But then again, one of the icons, obviously, uh, from Kingston, Jamaica, Conscience, and this is for you, right? Buju Banton did make some sentiments when it comes to Afrobeat and, of course, African music and it not lacking, um, it not having, you know, substance. What's your say and your take on this? Um, I don't think he necessarily said it didn't have substance. Um, I think he was more making a point that the music is not so much revolutionary. And I think he's kind of misinformed because it, there, there are a lot of songs that are revolutionary in Afrobeats, but they just don't get to the top as, as um, the party songs are, are um, songs about love. You know what I mean? So I think he's kind of misinformed. I do think that reggae is rooted in Rastafarianism and, and revolutionary. Afrobeat is not that type of genre. It's a feel-good music. It's a music to get you out of your mood, not so much to, let you, to think about your problems. It's to make you forget your problems. And that's just my opinion. I know there are, there are artists that really do revolutionary music in Afrobeat, um, but they don't, don't get to the top of the top, like, you know what I mean? Uh, other types of um, topics. So... I kind of agree with Budja, but then I understand that it's just a different thing. You can't, you, you can't try to put all music in the same box. It's not the same. Well, for sure, I will tell you that they don't get to the top because they make you remember your problems. <laughs> <laughs> and most importantly, music is about <laughs> ma making you forget your problems. Yeah, you which is what you have done to us. And guess what? People, are, like artists don't make hits. Like people make hits, so you could make how many, as many songs as you feel about revolution. If people are not trying to make that into a hit, then it won't be a hit, and then Buju won't hear it, and then he won't put it on his list of songs that he's thinking about. So you got to be tapped in. Cautions, before we say goodbye, I want to tell you something you might not know about, but for the whole of this whole year, as much as we've had so many countless concerts, yours is so far the biggest we've had in the country. Nobody yes, has beaten your numbers. True. Nobody has beaten your energy. Nobody yeah. has beaten your performance. And nobody has beaten the love that you brought yes, to Uganda. 11 months later, people are still talking about, you know, blankets and wine featuring conscience. conscience. Incredible stuff. Uh, um, 
Obviously, obviously, twenty twenty five, you might get a conscience and Eric Bellinger show. You know, that should happen. And because you've mentioned uh, conscience, because you've mentioned about that, we want to know, Eric. This one is for you, right? The album yeah. is still in the kitchen. You're still cooking. We want to have some Ugandan acts in there. We want to have a Nazawi in there, a Pelasso <laughs> in there, a Joshua Baraka in there. How do we go about this, right. Eric? It will all make sense later, you know. <laughs> And, having, and, having a Ugandan act. Actually, actually yeah. Eric, okay. Eric, oh, Eric, Eric, me. Eric, before you get to answer this one, we have an artist here at home who said, we are not excelling because those that have connections uh, aren't sharing their connections. And now we're sharing your connection, bro. <laughs> Through yeah. conscience, we're sharing hey, the connection. Hey, hey, hit me on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just the same as a text message. Hit me with a DM, I'll check it out. You know what I mean? I'm the dude that... that that um pushes collaborations i'm the one that you know is an advocate um for working together you know what i mean bridging the gap so man i'm gonna listen right if you send it i'm gonna listen right after this and follow and follow your movement and you never know you know what i mean it all makes sense later you, you, you never know but but let, let me just say something before i say bye bye you know yeah we like things for free <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everywhere in the world, people Conscience, like for free. If, Conscience, if you could nominate two what Ugandan is? artists to work with Eric Bellinger, who would that be? Damn, I don't want to be biased. <laughs> I, I, I work with too many artists, man. I work with Azari, um, Azari Palasso before I work with um, Chameleon. Chameleon, yeah. Hold on, somebody. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody's calling me. I got to get them off. Get right. off my phone. <laughs> yeah, I work with Chameleon. I work with APOS. There's so many dope artists in, in Uganda. I think um, it's just for Eric to hear them out and see which ones um, speak impressed. to him or speak yeah. to a, part a particular song. And I'm, I'm sure he'll make it work if, it, if it's natural, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Funny enough, I was, when, I, when I announced that I was going to do a high school reunion tour, I was planning to do a whole seminar to kind of emp help empower the Ugandan artists and the East African mm. artists. And nice. I was going to reach out to Eric to come and do a writing camp, you know, a, a writing seminar. So it's so funny that the first interview we did for this song is in Uganda. So we'll see. But 25, 25 Thank you Thank so, you so much. much. Cautions, your man DJ Baby Love is here. You want to give him a shout out? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, Baby Love. Baby Love, go on, my fam. <laughs> Baby love on the ones that says, well, thank you so much, Eric. Thank you so much, Coach. Wait, wait, now, you teach me the Uganda words, bro? Yes, we're yeah, going to do that. Something, bro. Come at on. least one, at least one, one word before we um, get out of here. Which Luganda word? Which Luganda word, Linda? Tuja. Tuja, Tuja, yes. Just say Tuja, Tuja. Tuja, Tuja, Tuja. Yeah, which Tuja, Tuja, Tuja. Yes, Tuja. yes which means uh, you're coming. We're you're going to be coming to Uganda. Ah, uh, that was a manifestation. I like that. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, Eric, Conscience, get to premiere special for the fans down here in East Africa and, of course, specifically here in Uganda. Yo, big up to all of the fans of show Conscience love from them time till now. Thank you so much. Keep showing the love. I'm going to keep showing it back everywhere, everywhere I go in the world. Bless up. Enough love. Mm. Eric? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you all so much for listening. Thank you for supporting. You know what I mean? It may seem like we far, you know, across the world, but at D, you know, we may be net out of touch, but not out of reach. We always right here, always connected. So yeah, man, just look at it like that. Always remember that this internet, this digital vibes, it connects us. So, you know, we're gonna be chopping, we're gonna be in touch. And Uganda, I really, really hope to be there soon for the for the for the vibes and for the good food. Mm -hmm. I heard that. You better come. Ask, ask questions to tell you we have beautiful, sexy women in Uganda. He's ah. a married man with the two lovely kids. It, does, it doesn't stop wife. Uganda from having women. <laughs> Wait, how are you? What? Wait. Yeah, man, I'm, here, I'm here to sing to everybody. Amen. Peace yeah. out. <laughs> That's it. Thank you so much, Eric, and of All course, right, of Conscience. Uh, uh, we you. are waiting for Eric's album. It will all make sense <laughs> later to drop. And obviously, you cannot wait for one of our very own uh, to be part of that particular project. Again, what is uh, Conscience Uganda name? Oh, we should give him a new one every time uh, Mukasa, he comes. There was uh, Chigozi. There was just he was on a team at some point. Yes. Eh.
Come back, we'll give you another one. Fantastic. We have many. Can't wait for the high school reunion. <laughs> yes, that 20, would be nice. 2025. For <laughs> now, Conscious' favorite Ugandan DJ, Baby Love, gets to drop a brand new record. It's Eric Bellinger featuring Conscious. This one is a special record, and it's called Special of the upcoming album. It will all make sense later.